Dan, or R. Sherl, as he's affectionately known. For those of you who don't know, he's called R. Sherl owing to his striking resemblance to Shirley, the blonde alcoholic from East Endies. He did used to have hair like that as well. I remember the first time I met Nicola. I'll tell you what, for these football fans around the room, she was doing a top draw of man marking him on a night out in Leamington. I remember I turned up late and seeing Dan with his red-haired bombshell, no more than a few steps behind him as he minced around the bar in typical Isle Shell style. I called him over. I said, Dan, I said, Dan, who's this bird? And this is the direct quote now. He goes, I don't know, mate, she's some old bird, but she wants a bit of our show. It seems a long time ago now from when I actually proposed to Nicola. And um, for those of you that don't know the story, um, I'm just going to go through it a little bit more in depth. So uh, just imagine um, a Mediterranean cruise with our friends TJ and Tara. We just booked it all last minute for Nicola's birthday. We booked the cruise from, it was meant to start and go from Rome. So I've been, you know, doing my homework thinking, yep, yeah, it's going to go from Rome on her birthday. I'll, I'll, you know, I've got the ring in my pocket, I'll go and do it in Rome. So unbeknown to me, when we got on the cruise, they rotated the trip and it started in Marseille. <laughs> so in the end, we didn't do that one, so we went back to the ship and we hired um, the top of the deck of the ship. So uh, anyway, we got up on this deck and we had some Prosecco and all that sort of thing uh, and I, I popped out this blue box and got on one knee and said to her, will you marry me? So Nicholas' response was, oh my God, it's Tiffany. <laughs> And she ran off. <laughs> so I've looked at TJ and we're like, what do I do? I don't actually know what I'm going to do. So she's ran off with Tara somewhere going, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's Tiffany, it's Tiffany, it's Tiffany. Anyway, 10 minutes later, we managed to find her. Um, we located her in the toilet actually somewhere. Uh, and I literally said, will you marry me? And she goes, oh yeah, of course I will. <laughs> As I've got to know Nick over the past few years, I soon realised that she was special. Not only is she beautiful, she has a huge heart, is kind, gorgeous and a wicked sense of humour. I mean, the fact she chose to marry Dan is testament to that, surely. 